<laughs> Anxiety props. Hey, stop making noises over there, computer. I'm a weirdo. One, two, three. Hey everyone, I'm Geneva and I am not your average oddity. I am your pink freely oddity today and I did my makeup and I'm really happy about it. So yeah, I am still relatively new to YouTube, only have a handful of videos out and I wanted to give you all an opportunity to get to know me a little better. So I posted on my Twitter. Um, and on my other social media pages, soliciting questions that you'd like to know about me. I did not really get any, although some of my friends and family humored me a little bit and like answered on my personal social media. So thank you and uh, we're gonna answer some of their questions. And maybe next time I do a video like this, I'll have more subscribers, I'll get more questions, and it'll be fun. Okay. Oh gosh. I seriously have like a cat hair in my eye right now. Darn cats. It's not a not your average oddity video if there's not a cat interruption. It's really bothering me. I got it. I got the cat hair. <laughs> Here we go. First question. We'll go, we're gonna go easiest to hardest. <laughs> easiest. What are your top five favorite movies and TV shows? My number one favorite movie without a doubt is the Princess Bride. So the Princess Bride, then I would go Mary Poppins, Sweet Dreams, Pat's Glenn Biopic. She's my girl. Love her. Sleeping Beauty. Cinematic masterpiece. Don't at me. I'll fight you on this. And what should be my last and final slot? I'm gonna go with This is a really hard decision. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That's what I'm gonna pick as number five. I do like that movie a lot. Out of all the Harry Potters, the first one probably has the most nostalgia for me. So, movies are done. TV shows, number one TV show. This one's so much harder. Oh, no, it's not, The Muppet Show. The Muppet Show is clearly my number one favorite TV show. I love The Muppets. And I'm not talking like the new Muppet Show. I'm talking the OG Muppet Show. Oh, that it's on Disney Plus. I'm totally gonna watch seasons four and five, never released before until now. That's how you know I'm a Muppet nerd. Okay, so The Muppet Show is by far one of my favorites. Then I'm gonna go with Parks and Rec, How I Met Your Mother, Mom is one I'm watching now, but I really like it, and 30 Rock. I'm gonna pick those. I should have started with TV shows. That was a much less painful process for me. All right, moving on up in uh, difficulty. What made me decide to choose news as my career path? If I haven't said it, I don't remember at this point. I am a um, news producer. That is my, my job. And what made me decide to do it was when I was in high school, I had... I had an idea of what I wanted to do. Um, I'm an artist, uh, and I really wanted to be a fine artist as my profession, but that got shot down because my parents were like, no starving artists, that's not happening. And I was like, well, okay. So then I was like, but I really like creative fields. I, like, I, I couldn't just do a job where I wasn't challenged in a creative way. And so I was doing all sorts of personality tests and you know, skills test with my counselor, and one day my mom introduced me to the teacher of the television class in the district, but it was at a different school than I was going to, uh, because she worked at that school, and she introduced me one time and said, you know, maybe this is something you'd be interested in, and I said, you know, I'll take the class, like, I'll give it a shot, because I always like to make little videos and stuff, hence YouTube. It's coming full circle. Uh, I never posted my videos before, uh, or at least at that time, but I like to, I like to make, you know, those, like, movie maker picture collages, and I was like, yes, I have so many skills. <laughs> so I gave that class a shot, and that's how I learned how to make a newscast, and the rest is kind of history. Uh, I went on to college to do broadcasting, and mm, that's what I've been doing for the past handful of years. So 
I really like it. Thank you for asking all of these very um, good questions, Sean. He knows who he is. The last question that I got from my sister is, why are you so short? And not having any context, you're probably like, man, your sister trolled you. But I am not your average short person. I am short because I have a growth hormone deficiency due to a malformed pituitary gland. So I was born with a pituitary gland that just didn't form correctly. And if you don't know a lot about the pituitary gland and what it controls, it controls your growth and it controls all of your hormones and the systems associated with your hormones. It controls your thyroid, it controls your reproductive system, it controls, you know, your bone growth at the beginning stages of your life. I found out when I was nine years old about this because between ages eight and nine, I didn't grow a centimeter and I was below four foot at that point and teeny tiny. So I ended up going on human growth hormone injection treatments for all of middle school basically. And I got to be the height that I am, which is five, two and a half, three quarters, almost five, three. I really wanted, I really wanted to be five, three, but alas, I'm not. However, the people at the Secretary of State are always really nice and they just let me round up to five, three. And I'm like, bless you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not very tall. And to give you context, the next tallest person in my immediate family is like five, six, then like five, eight, then like six, four, like <laughs> my family and my extended family super tall too. And then there's just like me <laughs> and maybe like two other people who are down here. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not just you know, regular short. I am spicy short. <laughs> did I just say spicy short? I did. Anyways, yeah, so I am literally not tall for a specific reason because my body didn't want to, you know, grow for a certain period of time. It is actually a really good question from my sister. Thanks, sis. Well, I hope you liked this video. I know it was a little short, just like me. <laughs> I think it was fun. I had fun. I hope you had fun and I will see you next time. <laughs>